Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines, a commentary channel all about YouTubers. And I think the one part that actually made me turn from really liking her to not liking her and not watching her anymore was when I saw her creating this reality and selling it to the world and it was a crock of shit. Layla's Kitchen put out this video about Britney and Baby yesterday. Brittany left a comment on her video. She said, I'm really sad to see this. I thought we were friends. Layla completely lays it out there and exposes Brittany on a lot of different things. Brittany put this on Instagram. I woke up this morning to find a video of someone I thought was a friend of mine. Make a video about me and my relationship. Out of all the videos people have made about me, this one hurts the most. I just wanna say that me and Frank are not perfect. We both have our own demons that we struggle with. We all do. We are currently working on ourselves so we can become better people, not only for our family and for each other, but for ourselves. This year has opened our eyes to so much. It's very disheartening to feel like you're always being torn down when you're genuinely trying to do your best. Notice when Brittany said we both have our own demons that we struggle with, we all do. Whenever she says something about her relationship with Frank, she always says we all do it's almost like it makes her feel better by saying like lumping everybody in the same category with her because it's almost like she doesn't want to feel like she's the only one going through this issue she always says that if you guys listen to her she'll say something that she's going through and then she'll say but we all go through this i find that a little strange that she just can't say this is what i'm going through and never say that afterwards if you go watch her life update, she did it throughout the entire video. Now let's watch a little bit of Layla's video and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. Girl, we didn't even have time to blink before Frank came in with his fire hose hosing down all the hot situations that were going on. I remember in the beginning, I was team Frank. I think a lot of us were. I think that we were all a little bit shocked how fast it happened and how quick she was in it. But if it's not your relationship, you kind of have an opinion, but you also shut up a little bit because it's not your relationship. Right, I think a lot of us were team Frank in the beginning because they made it look so perfect. Like she makes everything look so perfect, right? through editing and pictures. And then I started to see the red flags immediately. So you can definitely see how she really wants to create a fairy tale. I could completely see what happened without ever being told what happened. And it's kind of funny that YouTubers nowadays think that they can create the storyline they want and that the reality, the real storyline isn't gonna come out. We can all see it for what it is, but you can try to make your thumbnails and your videos a certain way if you want. She's right, most YouTubers do this. They wanna portray this certain image. They want us to think this is how their life is. They want us to think this is the way their house looks. And Layla is completely right about that. It was like she went and just plucked a guy and put him in her scenario and said, this is what I want. Alakazam, Alakazoo, let's make it be you. And she just did like a magical act. And Frank kind of jumped in and fit in perfectly. I mean, he was taking care of Harlow like that was his baby. He was doing everything he could to piss Ian off and show him that he's a more involved husband and dad and he's the better one in the situation. I shouldn't be saying that. I should be saying allegedly, but I'm not. I'm just going to drink my coffee so I shut the fuck up now. Oh my gosh. I really hope that wasn't happening. I really hope Frank wasn't doing all of those things just to prove something to Ian. I hope Frank was doing all of those things and helping out with the kids because he wanted to do those things. Now look, I've been through situations, okay? I can tell when people are trying to make people jealous, when people are trying to make a statement without making a statement. All YouTubers really do in actuality, you guys, is talk crap and try to flex on you, try to show you their life, try to show you what they have that's better than the next, try to show their ex that they're better off now than they were when they were with them. And it looks like that's exactly what happened. Oh, wow, Layla is spitting so much truth here. She is sarcastic, witty, and blunt, but I think she's giving us so much insight into what's really going on in this situation. I don't know this for a fact. I'm just giving my opinion on it, allegedly. What I saw was a young girl that had three kids very young with a guy who really didn't fit what she wanted him to fit. She wanted to be YouTube famous, and that's what she got. Right, Brittany's been making videos since she, before she was pregnant with Aria. She's always wanted to be YouTube famous, and Ian really never cared for YouTube. But she wanted Ian to be something he wasn't, and I don't know any of the ins and outs of their relationship, but if Ian wasn't what she wanted him to be, and it wasn't working for her, she absolutely could leave. But see, what she did was, I feel like, 
allegedly, pretty much saw an opportunity for her to show Ian she's marriage material. If a guy doesn't want to marry you, it will give you a complex that you're not good enough to marry. It kind of gives you a complex, like that person didn't want to marry me, especially if they say something to you. And like I said, this is all allegedly, but... This is all allegedly. She says in the beginning of the video or somewhere within her video that Brittany never called her and told her these things. This is what she is seeing from an outsider looking in. And Brittany said, oh, I thought we were friends. But what is the meaning of a friend? I think people throw that term around way too much because it doesn't seem like they were really friends. Because wouldn't you call a friend if you were going through something in life? Wouldn't you call a friend to talk to? Wouldn't you share things with your friend? Brittany hasn't shared any of this with her. So I'm not sure if they were really friends. You know, you can know someone. You can even talk to someone. You can laugh and have fun with someone online and share experiences, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're your friend. A lot of people are giving Layla a hard time for this, saying, how could you do this to your friend? She's you shouldn't do this to your friend. You shouldn't talk about your friend this way. And so that's why I'm making a point to say that it doesn't seem like they were really good friends. I did not see like this genuine spark and this love that blossomed between the two of them. I actually saw some pretty uncomfortable encounters between two people who were sitting in front of a camera and it felt very forced. I remember the updates where she was sitting by him on like a sofa or something and they were talking about she had just found out she was pregnant. And I remember going, yeah, this is not a good idea. Yeah, I remember watching those videos too and thinking the same damn thing, thinking, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Why is she moving so fast? What is she getting herself into? It was crazy. And I feel like those videos were super awkward and uncomfortable too. Do you guys remember those videos where they were sitting on the couch, like talking and it's, it's like two strangers talking. They barely knew each other, but they were already having a baby, getting married and thinking about building a house. But I think I can speak for a lot of us out there that the one thing that bothers most of us when it comes to Brittany and baby is the fact that she acts like Nolan doesn't have a condition that he has. All of us out here know if you've researched it or looked at this like a lot of us have that there's a lot that could be done for him and that should be done for him and it's not. And if you're doing it and not showing everybody, that's really weird. Of everything you could show that would make you look good and make you look like a good little staged, blended family, of everything of that, you would think you would be showing that about Nolan, but you don't see it. So then everybody's sitting there going, why are you cranking out these kids, but you're not taking care of something that's so vital with one of the kids you already have? And this is a very touchy subject right here that Layla is touching on, but there is some truth here. Out of all the things that Brittany could show to make her look like this perfect mom who has this perfect life, that is what she could show. She could show everything that she's doing for Nolan because she doesn't show any of that. So it leaves her audience to wonder, are they doing anything for Nolan or is she doing everything and just not showing it? I will say that she did mention recently he's in physical therapy. Yes, I know people are going to say, it's none of our business. Stop asking questions about her son. It doesn't matter. But you guys have to understand, Brittany is a public figure. She puts her life on YouTube to make money. She puts her life on Instagram to make money. She shares a lot of her life. And you can't be a public figure and share your life and expect people not to talk about your life or assume things or speculate. It just doesn't work that way. To me, when I look at it, I see a reality that somebody has tried to create really badly. This perfect, happy little family, the house that is so staged, it's ridiculous. And she's so right about this. YouTubers' houses are staged. They have to present themselves in a certain way. They have to make their houses look a certain way. Their kids look a certain way. They even make themselves look a certain way. So yes, I think a lot of things in YouTubers' lives are staged. I saw the downfall before it even happened. And I think the one part that actually made me turn from really liking her to not liking her and not watching her anymore was when I saw her creating this reality and selling it to the world and it was a crock of shit. 
Yes, I think she hit the nail on the head right here. Brittany and Baby is probably one of the best at doing this because we've all heard her say that she is really good at hiding her feelings, not sharing how she feels, keeping her shit together. And so through all of that, you're selling something that isn't true. Like you don't know Frank. You have no idea who Frank is. And I guarantee you now the absence and the weird sporadic shit they're doing on social media comes from not knowing somebody, having a baby with them, marrying them, having another baby, and creating this identity that's false. I think if you try to sell a joke, you become the joke. And she's right about that too. The petty stuff they're doing online, the way they act online, it's so immature, it's so petty. It's a joke. People are not believing them. People don't trust them. And, and some people think it's a joke. And I have always said this, I'm gonna keep standing by it, the YouTube money was never good enough for me to sell myself out or sell my children out. That's why I'm standing here kinda of broke, girl. That's why I'm kinda of broke. I'm kinda of joking, but I'm not. YouTube is a curse, and if you wanna get on here and act like everything is perfect and everything is great, you're gonna get eaten up. You really are. And I think that people are looking for authenticity. I think that when Brittany left Ian, that was a pivotal time that she could have remained single for long enough for her to figure out who she is without children before she went and had more children. Sometimes the truth needs to smack it in the face and you don't have a filter to fix it. Yeah, I don't know why Brittany rushed into this relationship with Frank so quickly. She could have been and would have been very successful on YouTube with her social media platform without a husband. Maybe she thinks that she needs a man in her life, but she absolutely doesn't, and she could have taken a lot of time for herself, but she jumped right into a relationship. It actually kind of irked me and irritated me when I saw her selling such a fabrication to everybody because you've got all these younger people watching you thinking that's what you should do. You should find one, then you find another, and you put them in your scenario, and you create this happy little facade. I really don't care, honestly, if every video has a sponsor or every video has some kind of product you're selling in it because you're trying to make a living. That's part of this. TV shows have ads. Don't get mad at one if you don't get mad at the other. It's all about the money and selling stuff. But when you sell a crock of shit to people, they'll start to figure it out, and it's, it's kind of crazy how it comes back to you. That being said, I, got, I feel like I gotta keep saying it, girl. God damn, I gotta keep saying it. Girl, I don't know nothing. I didn't talk to the girl. She didn't text me. She didn't call me. This is just me watching it, me having life experience, and me saying, hmm. So you heard her say it. Brittany didn't call her, text her, tell her anything. That seems kind of strange if they're friends, right? This is just her opinions on what happened as an outsider looking in, but she does know Brittany more than we know Brittany. Frank, to me, seems like the type of guy who is on his phone. And Frank to me seems like the type of guy that would be on dating sites and hookup sites because how you meet them is how you lose them. Oh damn, I never thought about that. What if she caught him on a dating site and that caused this argument that they're going through? When you find somebody on a site, you have to understand you're not the only person and that that person might turn right back to that site real quick if things don't work out with you. These girls that have one child or a bunch of young kids who meet somebody who has no children, that should be for you, not a turn on, a turn off. He is not ready to become a stay-at-home dad who's controlled by a woman who counts his money at 20, 23, 25, 27, girl. I don't agree with the fact that if you meet a guy who's in his 20s and he doesn't have kids, that's a red flag. I don't agree with that at all. Being in your 20s and not having kids is completely normal to me and I wouldn't advise any early, if you're in your early 20s, mid 20s, I wouldn't advise anyone that young to have kids anyway. But I do agree with the fact that Frank went from being this single guy, a young single guy, to basically having a family overnight. Not just a small family, a large family overnight. When I first saw her with Frank and trying to create this thing, and then all of a sudden here came the blended family, blended, and the, 
the co-parenting and I really thought she was copying Jess fam. Jessica from Jess Fam, because Jess Fam had a couple guys, then she lands Chris, then it looks so perfect, and it's a vlogging couple, and it's YouTube fairy tale, and it's everything you want it to be. It seemed like she copied that. I feel like a lot of you will understand what I mean by that, but I think that she looked at Jessica in the wrong ways, and she said, if you can create that, I'll create that. I understand what she means when she says that, because as a YouTuber, you watch YouTube and you find a creator that you connect with and that you love to watch their videos and you do kind of mimic their style, mimic what they do and think, wow, I would like a channel like they have. I mean, I think every YouTuber has a YouTuber that they look up to and Jess Fam might just be the YouTuber that Brittany looks up to. But Brittany, if I can give you any bit of advice what you see now is what it is. Be careful what you sign up for for the rest of the time with Frank. It's okay to say, I fucked up. Don't stay with a man just to prove something to the internet or to somebody else. Yes, I don't think Brittany should stay with Frank just to prove that she's right about their marriage, about their relationship, about moving too fast. I think that point right there is going to keep Brittany in this relationship for a long time. That was pretty much the end of her video. If they were really, truly good friends, yes. Layla should have called Brittany and expressed her feelings. She should have texted Brittany. But I get the feeling that they weren't really friends. They were just kind of like someone you know online. And I think that's different than a friend. Because if you just know someone online, you're not gonna call them up and give them all of this unsolicited advice. You're just not gonna do that. You're only gonna do that if you feel really comfortable with that person and the relationship that you have with that person. So, was Layla right or wrong by making this video? I don't know, you guys can decide that for yourself. Let me share a few things that Layla posted on Instagram. If you're mad at my opinion on Brittany, that's too bad. Unfollow me and follow her. I don't support that anymore. And I wanted that to be known. Besides this video, I don't have much else to say. She also said, Brittany, stop the fake shit. You're one of the fakest people I met on here. People be careful who you stick up for. Make sure they have your back too. Sorry, I don't want to be a voice for you anymore. You talk a good game, but you never upload it. And please don't send that country bumpkin over here to fight your fight. I'll chew that little guy up and spit him out. Layla also said, I hope you ladies defending Brittany understand this is exactly what she wants. She wants you to all get mad and defend her. Trust and believe she isn't upset. She's happy. She loves this. This is YouTube. Look how mad some of you guys are. And you never even met her. This is hilarious. Carry on. So right after Brittany made the post about being hurt by Layla's video, all of these other big YouTubers started coming out and saying, keep your head up. People are trying to bring you down. It only means you're above them. Tara Henderson made a comment. Tiffany Beeston made a comment. Okay, Baby made a comment and a few others also made comments supporting Brittany as well. And of course, I would expect other YouTube mamas to support Brittany, to stand up Brittany throughout this because they're in the same niche. They gotta keep this niche good and active and going and everybody loving this mommy YouTube world. I wanna share one last thing before I go. Brittany has said a million times that she's not an emotional person. She can hide her emotions. She doesn't cry that often, but this is what she posted on Instagram yesterday. So I'm reading all of your messages right now. And I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate your love and support. And shit, I got like lipstick all over my lips. And you guys really don't even know how much you mean to me. And I will always appreciate your support no matter what. Another YouTuber that was supporting her on Instagram said, Everybody send Brittany and Baby messages about what you like about her channel. So I guess she was getting flooded with all of these positive messages and it made her emotional? Or is that fake? I don't know. I can't tell. But I've been watching Brittany and Baby since she moved into her very first apartment when she had Aria. And I can probably count on one hand 
the number of times I've seen her cry online. Now, that doesn't mean she was faking right there on Instagram. She did seem pretty emotional and probably reading everyone's positive comments is overwhelming and makes you so grateful. And maybe she did truly get emotional. I've never seen her get emotional like this over comments from her viewers. I also noticed she added back wife to fmorrow12 on Instagram. You guys know she deleted that for a while, but it's back. Okay, here are some of my final thoughts. Brittany and Baby has been on YouTube for, I think, over a decade. This has been the only job that she's ever had. I don't think she ever had a real job. You know, like we all work at fast food or at Walmart or something as teenagers. I don't think she ever did that. So this has been the only job she's ever had. She has a big following now because she's been doing this for so long. She makes a lot of money doing this and I don't think she's going anywhere. She's staying right here on YouTube. But I do think she will just keep being what everybody wants her to be. That's what I think. She'll just keep changing. If people want her to be vulnerable and be more open and share more, I think she will do that a little bit. If people start giving her a hard time about that, she will back off and stop sharing as much. I think that's what I've seen with her channel throughout the years. She becomes whatever people want her to be at the time. And everything that I've said in this video are just my thoughts and opinions, and I would love to know what yours are. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.